What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy, the Dixie Chopper King, and today I wanna give a quick update again on the Dixie Chopper project. So recently, we settled on a color for the deck and color for the other black pieces. For the main deck shell, it's a factory Corvette silver, and for the black pieces, we're going with a chassis black. The whole thing should be done by the middle of this week. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up and make some space and get all my hardware together. That way, I can get all the pieces and put them all together. You can see I have one of the chains soaking in oil it's been soaking for a, probably a month now so we're gonna take it out right now wish i had my channel locks but i just i found my vice grips so you know why not all right here we go Woo -wee! as you can see it did some work kind of helped a little bit a lot better than it was all right so i've got these screwdrivers so that way i can you know try to use them to help me get everything to work loose that's not you know complying Gonna go through every single one of these. There we go. See, now I'm gonna turn them the other way, get them to work the other way. There we go. See, this one right here, you can see it starting to move. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wait, watch. Ugh. See, I'm getting it to work. Getting to work out. Eventually, you should be able to move it by hand. I'm not going to film too much of doing this because, you know, it's going to take a little while. But I'll show you when it's done. On these Dixie Chopper lawnmowers, it's very common for these chains because this is for the foot pedal system that lifts up the deck. It's very common for certain areas to be frozen up. All right, so I've gotten some to loosen up. But I'm not going to worry too much about them moving, you know, like this, you know, super loose because it, it doesn't really need to be like that. All this does is it is it just goes like that. It's not like it's moving too much or anything like that. So I'm not going to really worry too much about it. If it would have been moving around all the time and, you know, all loose and everything, it wouldn't have frozen up. But it did. So let's move on. I'm just going to drop this back in here. There we go. Like so, get it all moving around in there. And now we're going to move on to the hardware. On Dixie Choppers, the decks are composed of a couple different types of carriage bolts or different sizes. Very uh, widely used across the deck, but like in places for the spindles, they will have longer carriage bolts, like this one. There should be 12 of these longer carriage bolts. Flange nuts are used throughout the, the deck. They're, they're all the same. Probably going to try to clean these up with some chemicals. Because, unfortunately, you know, new hardware is really expensive. So, got this one. How you guys doing tonight? Good? It's good. Okay, now I looked for these these uh, carriage bolts at Home Depot or the hardware store. Uh, and, unfortunately, they didn't have the exact, you know, size. I mean, they were probably about half an inch bigger. They were a little bit bigger, but... I don't really want to have to go and cut them all up and, you know, stuff like that. It's just not worth it. So for now, I'm just going to use these uh, old bolts and maybe down the line I'll get some new ones. I uh, recently spoke to Eli Keen. He's the marketing specialist at Dixie Chopper. And uh, they're shipping out the decals for the fenders and for the rear engine crash guard on Wednesday. So I should have them later this week. When they arrive, I'll be sure to post a video. Now, bolts that are beat up like these... I'm going to put them off to the side and then ha I'll have to replace these kind of bolts because, you know, they're they're too far gone. Okay, I was in the middle of uh, organizing this hardware and I just thought of something. If I have to replace one or two of those pieces of hardware, the shipping is going to come out to like at least $10. So why am I going to pay $10 shipping for only a couple bolts when I can just get a whole bunch of them and make the shipping worth it? Hmm. Let's go back and crunch some numbers. Pardon all the noise, but right now I'm on DixieChopperPartsDistributors.com. Now, I love receiving parts in the mail, but looking for them, especially hardware, can take a little bit of time. And what makes it harder is that I'm trying to get this lawnmower and turn it into the one that my father had. Because of the year difference, you know, things change, so it makes it a little bit difficult. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> all right, right here, 50-inch heavy-duty deck. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the model that my father had. I'm gonna get all that hardware. 
add it into the cart, and then just order it. That way, I do not have to worry about anything. Now, my wallet might not like me. It might sign a, uh, you know, uh, restraining order against me, but, you know, who cares? It's for the project. As you can see here, my total is already $136, but I'm going to get rid of all this stuff and put a new list. I'll get back to you guys. And real quick, you better leave a like on this video. You know why? These master edits, the beautiful cuts, that takes time. What I just said about, oh, I'm just going to go to that model and put all the, the hardware from that. Do you want of these nuts? It's $62. Why? If I clean up the nuts that I have, I still have, you know, I'll still be prone to rust. Unless I maybe I put some kind of clear on it. And even then, it's not really going to look brand spanking new. Well, anyway, let's keep, let's just keep going. Let's keep putting the hardware on and, uh, on the cart and let's see how high it gets. Here we go. See what happens, boys and girls. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, lordy! Oh, wait, hold on. I added two of them. My, my bad. There we go. Let's see what happens now. See, it came out to 176.37. Um, still pretty bad, I think, personally. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'll just have to uh, convince my mom to let me spend this much money on hardware. I wonder if there's some sort of payment plan that I could go on so that way when I cut grass, I can, you know, pay like monthly or something like that. Probably not. The reason I didn't want to use the old hardware is because I'm going as far as, you know, getting the whole deck powder coated. Why would I use the old crappy hardware? A couple things that I do need to get is the hardware for the deck rollers and the throttle grip for the OCDC. Along with some spacers and some pins for the brake system. Which unfortunately I did not keep the brake drum from my last Dixie Chopper. That was a 60 inch cut but it had dual, dual brakes on it. And uh, I kind of wanted to do a conversion to this lawnmower and make it a dual brake system. But uh, that'll probably be down the line when I can find some used parts from somewhere. You know what I need to get? This is this is what I really need to get. Now hear me out. I need to get my own like house next to the factory at Dixie Chopper. And then when I when I need to go get a part, I type it in on my computer, and then it tells me, hey, it's in this aisle, this you know shelf, whatever. And that's when I get in my Dixie Chopper classic 27 horsepower 50 inch cut, and I hit the key, turn it on, full throttle. Pop a wheelie, you know, do a little catwalk with the where the front end comes up. Drive all the way down the warehouse, get my get the get the hardware, and then I come back and I work on the lawnmower. And one thing I want to talk to you guys about is down the line, in 2005 they had this center baffle because there's two blowout baffles on each on each you know piece here. Let me pull up the diagram. Okay, you can see right here. There's this one and this one. There's two blowout baffles on each end of the mower deck. I guess in 2005 they decided to put one in the center, but uh, I don't know how, you know, I'd be able to stamp out a square for the carriage bolts. So I'd probably have to make like a little slot and just use regular bolts. That's not really that important right now. So that'll be later on. Order the order and now it's $188.14. So I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe I can set up a payment plan and uh, I'll let you guys know. That'll be in the video where I talk about the decals when they come in and everything. So stay tuned. This has been your boy, the Dixie Chopper King.